Italy was Europe's first epicenter for the coronavirus outbreak, but now it's starting to reopen. Venice, one of the world's most famous cities, has suffered without its usual tourists, but it's enjoyed an unintended benefit. Chris Livesay traveled to the city of water to see how nature is suddenly flourishing. Good morning. Now, as hard as the lockdown has been on all of us, there's one silver lining no one can deny. Staying at home has been largely good for the environment. And here in Venice, this lagoon city has returned to its pre-industrial tranquility. Venice, perhaps more than any other city under lockdown, has gone from one extreme to the other. The Rialto Bridge, the Grand Canal, even St. Mark's Square deserted. Streets and canals usually awash with tourists. Now so still, nature is filling the void, says ecologist Marco Sigovini. Look at that. Oh my there gosh. The yeah, there he is under the station. ropes. Oh my gosh. With babies. Yeah. Nearby, an octopus beneath a dock, schools of fish and underwater life, and jellyfish like the one we spotted. Hardly any boats to scare them away or to churn up cloudy sediment. The transformation so dramatic, the European Space Agency snapped these satellite images, taken one year apart. Conspicuously absent, cruise ships. Last year, more than 600 passed through. Their titanic size, splashing corrosive wake on these fragile foundations, says environmental scientist Jane DeMosto. What is going on with these steps? They look like they're about to fall in the water. They, they probably are about to fall in the water. Once last year, the damage was not so gradual. Four people were injured when this cruise liner slammed into a Venetian dock. Back, 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 back. But today... It's more like a, a lake, and I just imagine that all the buildings in Venice are kind of singing to each other, and they must be so relieved not to be so bashed around. Without the ship's billowing exhaust, her team has also measured a marked improvement in air quality, though not without a cost. Empty bridges, empty canals, but also empty pockets. Without tourists, COVID-19 has left the economy here gasping for air. This fishmonger says he'll go bankrupt selling to Venetians alone. There's only 50,000 of them, compared to 30 million tourists who used to come every year. Something you can see clearly at night when the few lights on are of the few people who live here. The many homes with lights off of the many tourists now gone. How bad? The mayor is desperate for them to come back. We're not dying of coronavirus, he tells business leaders at this demonstration. We're dying of hunger. And it's striking that delicate balance between the ecology and the economy that's going to determine the future of Venice. For now, it seems like there's a tension between public health and public wealth here and around the world. Chris Livesay, CBS News, Venice. Such a beautiful city, and it's lovely to see it empty, Gail, but it, as Chris said, it can't survive that way. Yeah, look at the human beings mucking everything up. I hope they can find a balance between the economy and the ecology. I hope they can work that out. And Anthony, perfect time to notice your painting behind you because I know it's from Venice. It's of Venice. It's of Venice. It's, People ask it me, is, I get a it, lot of requests. It is St. Mark's Square. I get a lot of requests from people that say, do you think Anthony will ever sell that painting? What's the answer, Anthony Mason? Nope. <laughs> okay. Okay, just wanted it on record. That's what I said, but I don't want to speak for you.